They're both to get equal value. So we're going to share. We might share the art. We might share the car. Well, as you can see, we had a lovely morning. Just a beautiful day here again today, here on Wednesday. Uh, we actually had snow this morning, and I didn't film it because I was sick, literally, not physically, but looking outside, I woke up, my alarm went off at 9, which is normal, and I looked outside, and I saw white, and I just thought that maybe if I went back to sleep for five more minutes, I'd wake up and it would be green again, but it wasn't. Um, anyways, it was, it was like 36 overnight, so I don't know how snow stuck, but I don't think it damaged anything. You can still see some little pieces of slush. I wouldn't say snow, it was more just white slush that kind of stuck around, but it's all gone now. It's just wet and about 45 degrees. Uh, so that being the good news, we're out of that cold little cold front that came in kind of just affected yesterday and today and now that's over tomorrow's going to be back up in the high 50s and 73 Sunday now so that'll be good but you saw in that math class we had a great time I just uh, gave my notes to Alex this is really easy stuff um, I'm trying to put a belt on right now so don't think I'm doing something else but um, as you can see he drew a whole bunch of car logos some of which were decent and some of which were not on my notes and he gave him the camera and he dicked around a little bit and then we went out to lunch, we went to Panera's and we were really, really, really tight on time and I, so I didn't have time to get the flip out of my camera. Look, there's a bird. Oh, there it goes. And I went out to the car right after class. We have 35 minutes for lunch. Um, Alex and I don't have a class after lunch so we could take as much time as we wanted but Jack and Alex do. They have their 5-6 period so they had to get back. So I go out to the car, Alex is going to go with Jack, so they get in the, in the Jack era and just take off, and then Taylor and I are going to take the M5. So we go out, we get in the M5, put the key in, click, 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 doesn't start. I look, I left the lights on. Damn it. And I remember getting out of the car, it went ding, ding, and I thought, oh, okay, I either left lights on or it's bitching about the tire defect again because the, the pressure's low every few days. Um, but I saw Taylor in the corner of my eye and I thought, oh, I better go catch him before he gets in the building. So I didn't look down at my check display to see what it was. Well, I left the lights on. So I had jumper cables in the trunk that my grandfather gave me. Taylor brought the Focus over. We hooked it up. 30 seconds of charging and started right up. So thank you to the Focus. I'm headed back in a few minutes now to the engineering drawing class where we're building those balsa wood bridges. Today, I think he just wants us to get our sketches done. By sketches, he means like a rough draft sketch just with a pencil on an 8x10 sheet of paper. And then we'll get some graph paper and, uh, and actually make a good one to scale and whatnot with the with the Pro E tools and some software and stuff. And look at this crap that's coming out of the spoutings. I guess it rained pretty hard. So I gotta get up there and clean that out. And then there's one down here at this end of the house that always clogs up too. And when the spring rains come in, usually mid-April, any day now, and it just rains all day to make stuff green, which is okay, then all my spoutings overflow. And every year, I'm an idiot about it. And I come out here, usually while that rain is just dying down and I get myself soaking wet up on a ladder against wet br wet bushes, I think I filmed it last year, cleaning that out over there and the whole back side of the house on the other side of that wall just gets dicked. So uh, maybe if I'm on top of things this year, I can get out there before while it's at least dry and pick the leaves out of those spoutings. Usually it's just these two big ass maple trees here on the side of the driveway. All those leaves blow up there in the fall, I'm too lazy to clean them out then and then they just get mushy and they get stuck and it's it's a five minute job if you don't do it in a monsoon. Okay, talking aside, I'm gonna go grab my stuff, head back to class, and I'll talk to you around three o'clock. 3.05, just class here is frig with the buble. 42 degrees now, it's been raining the entire time. That hour and a half class went really quickly though, because I actually work the whole time and uh, got a lot of stuff done with my bridge. He actually didn't make us do sketches, um, which he said he was going to yesterday, and I'm not gonna switch gears, so we're gonna hear it. I'm too lazy to switch into third. I'm just on a very short piece of road. Anyways, uh, I worked in Pro Engineer software on the Windows side of the iMac the whole time, 
and I got a lot of work done. I got both trussles and the base part done, so now I just have to put in some supports on the top and stuff, and I'm, I'm going to be done with this really early, which is great, because then I can sit there, listen to podcasts, Pavarotti, and Michael Buble Well. uh... Well, I wait for everybody else to learn how to use the software again. That's a bad day to mow the yard there, bud. Oh, friggin' right. So we get dessert when we get home. That one got a little wampus on account of falling over in there on the car ride home, but yeah. So it's come to my attention that um, some people have problems buffering my vlogs. Do they take long for mine specifically to buffer in any resolution 360, 480, 720? Or, or mine longer than other people's? If I go back and I try to watch some of mine, no matter what resolution I try to buffer them in, they seem to take about twice as long as anything else. I don't know. I'm doing H.264, 60 frames per second um, video through Final Cut Pro 10. Even if I go back to when I was at 30 frames per second on the old flip, it's the same thing. Um, so maybe I'm doing something wrong. My files are huge. A 10 minute vlog is two and a half gigs and takes nine hours to upload overnight. Uh, but let me know if they're slow for you guys. And it's 11.46. Which means I'm going to end this now. I don't have anything profound to say. It turned out to be a really good Wednesday. And I'll talk to you on Thursday. Good night.